Hello everyone, welcome back to Electrology, your go-to channel for all things electrical engineering. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that every power system engineer should know, transformer overflux protection. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back and let's get started. First, let's understand what overfluxing means. A transformer is designed to operate at a specific magnetic flux level in its core. If this flux exceeds a certain limit, the core losses increase, leading to overheating and potentially causing internal faults. This is where overflux protection comes into play. It safeguards the transformer core from damage due to excessive flux. Now let's break it down mathematically. The flux in the transformer core is given by the formula phi equals V by 4.44 Fn. Here V is the supply voltage, F is the frequency, and N is the number of turns. Assuming the number of turns is constant, the flux is directly proportional to the VF ratio. This means if the voltage increases or the frequency decreases, the flux in the core will rise. For example, let's say a transformer's primary is connected to a 220 kV supply at 50 Hz. The PT ratio is 220 kV by 110 volts. So, the VF ratio is 110 by 50, which is 2.2. At this ratio, the transformer operates safely. But what happens if the VF ratio exceeds this value? That's where overfluxing occurs. To determine the safe operating limit, we look at the hysteresis curve of the core material. Typically, the overflux protection is set at 110% of the nominal value, or 1.1 per unit. So for our example, the safe limit is 1.1 times 2.2 equals 2.42. If the V over F ratio exceeds 2.42, the transformer core is at risk of overfluxing. Now, does this mean the transformer will trip instantly at a V over F ratio of, say, 2.5? Not necessarily. The core can tolerate overfluxing for a short duration. That's why overflux protection uses an inverse time characteristic. The higher the V over F ratio, the faster the relay will trip. Let's look at two scenarios. Case 1. The primary voltage rises to 250 kV and the frequency is 50.1 Hz. The PT secondary voltage becomes 125 volts, so the VF ratio will be 125 divided by 50.1, which equals approximately 2.495. Since this exceeds our set limit of 2.42, the relay will pick up and trip after some time. Case 2. The transformer has a tap changer. Even if we increase the tap position to reduce the flux, the VF ratio remains the same because the voltage signal is taken from the primary side PT, so the relay will still trip. But wait, there's a solution. If we take the voltage signal from the secondary side PT, increasing the primary turns will reflect proportionally on the secondary side, preventing unnecessary tripping. So, what's the takeaway? Tap changers play a vital role in preventing overflux tripping, but only if the voltage signal is taken from the secondary side PT. This ensures the transformer operates safely without compromising protection. And that's a wrap on transformer overflux protection. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Electrology for more such insightful content. If you have any doubts or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to support us, you can click the thanks button for a one-time contribution or become a member of this channel by clicking the join button. Your support means the world to us and helps us keep creating quality content. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.